peace and blessings. This is not Queen Zaire with Divine Blessings Apparel. And today I just wanted to have a conversation with you, um, talk about the printing experience that I've had so far. So far I'm enjoying a lot of it. It's a lot of um, learning to do when you buy in new equipment. Um, the Epson, let me just bring this here. My Epson printer is um, pretty standard the only thing i change with that is the um paper size so if i'm putting in different paper transfer paper because you can actually sublimate onto even regular transfer paper i use ppd and um that's when i have to change the size or i'm either using the roll to take the sublimation paper to put onto the sub flock um so my brother you know i did the <laughs> do not buy the brother right that's my um, cutter right there. And basically, so far, I've been playing with the, the cutter and everything has been going well. I got the hang of it. I still hate the fact that you have to buy um, the advanced image tracing separate. That drives me crazy. I just think it makes no sense. But um, other than that, it's really the cutter because you don't need the printer. And basically, the only time I use the advanced image tracing is if I have like words with the image. But if I'm just printing like the image, then putting it in here, I don't even need the computer. So that's the good thing about it. That's the advantage of having this one. So you just basically load the, the image and do everything on the actual cut. I'm talking about the cutter, but you can't see it. Sorry. And <laughs> do everything on the actual cutter. So that's the good thing about this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really, I really use this to, to send to this, unless I have words. Um, yeah, so I've been designing my jacket. Still not finished though, because I want to put rhinestones on it, but it's basically finished. So this is the product. So I put peace, love, happiness, you know, all the attributes that I, um, What's the word? What's the word? <laughs> I didn't want to use the word possess, but that I, I don't know. Anyway, the, you know, those, that's how, I, those are the, the words that I stand by. Um, I need to probably bring this lower so I can sit down and yeah, let me bring this a little lower. I have this on the tripod because I don't want to pull up there, of course. Let's see, let's see. How low do we need to go? Can we go? Or wait to the plug. Okay. So now let's cook it. And now I can't figure out how to get it straight. Let me see. Cutting you off. Okay. So yeah. So basically, um, you know, those are the attributes that I possess and that I live by and stand by. So that's what my designing is basically about who I am, um, being a black woman. I'm, of course, I'm heavy on the hip hop culture uh, since I was seven. Actually, I was the only female in my neighborhood, crazy, that was heavy into like rap when rap came. Like, But I was like a boy and a girl at the same time. People still call me like an oxymoron because I have <laughs> the male and the female that testosterone is kind of high in my, my levels with my estrogen. So yeah, I've always did both. Like I always played with Barbies and then climbed trees and climbed the rules and fought a lot. I did a lot of fighting when I was little because um, I was a tomboy. So, and because I was skinny, people would like try me. So yeah, so I fought a lot. <laughs> and I think it was a Taurus in me. Like if you start running off at the mouth and it's monster surfaces, which still happens. So that's why I started getting into spirit. Well, I was already spiritual. Born that way as well. Like I would have that foresight, what they call clairvoyance. Um, since I was, remember, my remembrance is being seven. So that's why I'm still very spiritual. I was never religious, even though I was um, raised in religious families. Like my birth mother was a Jehovah Witness and my godmother who raised me since I was two went to church. So I would go to both with both parents and neither one of them resonated with my soul. In fact, at one of them, I was told not to come back here by the voices. I'm calling them voices, but it's like my guides, they've always guided me. And at like seven 
or eight years old, I was in a church and I was, I literally heard them say, don't come back here. So I stopped going. And like all the kids in my neighborhood would go there for Sunday school, except me. I would, they would come back happy too. Like we did this and we did that. Or we went to church and after church, we went to White Castles because White Castles was a shit back in the day, right? Now everybody goes to fast food restaurants. But when we were younger, people actually cooked at their house. And so going to a fast food restaurant was a treat. Remember those days. So, yeah, they used to, like, brag that they had White Castles, and I would be like, okay. I didn't even care, like, because I used to listen very deeply. Not really, but it was just that I was, like, connected. So when I would hear the voice, like, now, being a grown-up, being an adult, you go through so much different things in life. When you hear the voices, you kind of ignore them, right? A lot of us have that intuition, and then we ignore the intuition. Me, I, I hear it. And I actually have a conversation, craziest thing ever. <laughs> I will literally have a conversation like, no, I don't need to do it this way because I usually do it this way. Like this is what goes on in my brain, my mind. And so I'm always wrong. So yeah. But when I was little, I would listen and then get the information and then be like, oh my God, I saw that before it happened. Anyway. So yeah, so that's what keeps me spiritual and guided and knowing that I didn't need religion to stay connected to God because I would hear the messages and then the messages would come true. So I used to be like, God must really love me. He keeps showing me things before I happen. This is what I said when I was seven years old. <laughs> God must really love me. So anyway, I'm very spiritual, very into hip hop culture and very black. So that's what my line is basically about. If, um, I don't know if you checked that. My website is divineblessingsapparel.com. But yeah, I basically draw. So that was the other thing. So I did music and art. I actually went to Arts High in North New Jersey. Um, I thought I was going for art, but I wound up having music on my schedule. So I took both tests and passed both tests. And my, my eighth grade homeroom teacher asked me, um, she said, you can't have two majors, so which one do you want? And I was like, oh, okay, then I choose art. But when I got to my first class, my first schedule, got there the first day, I had music on my um schedule so I went to the principal and I was like why do I have music on my schedule I picked art and he said oh if you pass both tests whatever test you got the highest score in is what we put on your schedule so instead of fighting and I just was like oh okay so I wound up taking music <laughs> so I played the saxophone for four years in high school and the oboe the orchestra teacher came to me and asked me I didn't know anything about no oboe but he asked me to play it and I learned it on my own and played it and I was first stringing oboe so anyway yeah so all of the things that I am is what I entail in my website. I don't know if entail is the right word. So <clears throat> I want to put rhinestones on her. I was going to take you through that process. Um, oh, she scared the hell out of me. <laughs> she scared me. So, um, so she don't have earrings. So that's what I wanted to use. Rhinestones. So I should start. So I purchased. She's barking at my son. So, um. I purchased this from Amazon. It's a rhinestone kit. And it comes with all of these little rhinestones, right? And it comes with the heat applicator, but I don't need the heat applicator because I could use my handy dandy heat press. You can tell I have a lot of kids because I always do that handy dandy and I got that from Blue Schools. I have six kids, five boys, one, one daughter. So, I know I don't look like I should have that many kids, right? Um, I'm trying to think which rhinestones, though, because I have different sizes. And I haven't really come up with it. But what I'm going to do is, um, because I don't want to put the rhinestones on and then move the jacket, because then the rhinestones are going to move. I'm going to place the jacket on the heat press. Move this out the way. Thank God I have the swing away. I'm going to move this, put the jacket, and then place the rhinestones. And um, hopefully I can show you some of it. I don't really want you to be bored with me trying to figure out which rhinestones I'm going to use and how I'm going to put it on here because I still don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be right back as soon as I get my mind together on how I'm going to do it. So, yeah. So I'm like a master procrastinator. I'll get the information. No, I want to do something, start it, and then won't stop. Like, that's why I always tell people you can't rush people. 
to do things until they're ready because I know firsthand I do it all the time. I get information, sit on the information for a long time, and then I'll be like, all right, now I'm ready. Oh, this is too small. Is that too small? No, but I need the, I need to pick this up with something else. They have a little thing in here they said, first of all, I'm supposed to have been putting them in here. Like you put a couple. I don't know how many I need. And, um, so yeah, I do it all the time. I wait and wait. So then in 2019, I started drawing, right? So if you look at my Instagram page, which is at Divine Blessings Apparel, I started posting drawings in 2019. Oh, look, it picked it up. <laughs> and, but how do you put it back there? How does it put, how does it go down? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Let me show you. I have a new toy look, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm picking it up. Picked it up. And then you just put it down. Now I need to figure out how to create what it is I'm looking for. I want to do like hoops. That's what I'm thinking in my head, hoops. So, yeah, I put I posted the um couple of drawings and then I stopped. <laughs> I stopped. And then the end of 2020 last year is when I said, you know what? Let me stop procrastinating and playing and just order my printer. And then that's when I ordered the Epson. I actually ordered it in like July. But it didn't get here until October. Because it was on it was high demand. I had the um heat press before then. I purchased the heat press also. So yeah, that's the story of my life. So now I'm on go mode though. Green lights. You know, once the green light goes, then I have no problem. It's just starting. Like for some reason, I don't know. I just always procrastinate. I start, you know, I don't know if you have this issue, but you start telling yourself reasons why you might as well not do it. <laughs> so you start off saying why you should do it. Then you start telling yourself the reasons why you shouldn't do it. And that's what I do. I do that as well. This actually might be, I might be on to something, y'all. So, yeah. So, because I have this monster inside, I started meditating, like consciously deciding to make a choice because you can't be 40-something still reacting without thinking, which was my downfall. It's one of my issues. Like, I literally have... You know Drake song zero to one hundred real quick. I literally have no buffer. It's like as soon as I feel let me come here with it. As soon as I feel disrespected, something it's like a light switch. Like you know how you turn on the light switch and the light doesn't think about coming on, right? It just comes on. So that's how my issues <laughs> like I literally soon as I felt disrespected this monster would surface and I wouldn't think first I wouldn't even care about the consequences like Dave Chappelle was like when keeping it real goes wrong <laughs> so yeah once I turn 40 it's bad because I was like 40 and I'm 48 right now actually I'll be 49 in April so depending on when you're watching it I'm either 49 or 48 um, yeah, so at 40, I was like, you know, this is ridiculous that I have no self-control. And so I, um, I started buying books and started meditating to get more control of self because it's not a good look to be allowing someone else to have that much control over you. And so I've grown a hell of a lot. People be like, oh, girl, you definitely changed. Because now I don't let anything bother me. 
if if I see it looks like it's about to become an argument, I let you get it. Okay, you you won. You know, <laughs> cuz it's all about ego. It's always about the ego. And so, I had to learn Boy, if it's flipped over on the back like this, I don't know if you can see it. Then I can't pick it up. I need it to be the other way. So I keep doing this to... Oh, wait. Where you come from? So, yeah. So I've been working on myself, but I've always been spiritual. So my designs are either black-oriented or about love and light. Because that's what we need. More love and light in this world. We don't need division. Even though we're different, but it's okay to be different. Problem is, people think it's not okay. Even amongst the same race. Like, they think you suppose If you Democratic and you Republican and they arguing, like, why do you expect people to think the way you think? I don't get it. And it's, it's just crazy. So, again, that's more division and separation. And can you build a house with one person or with many? You know what I'm saying? So you need to, we need to think about that more. Think about being unified more. Is there evil? There's evil energy everywhere, truthfully. There's some black evil people. <laughs> Believe me, because I remove myself. As soon as I see, see you look like you have negative energy, I remove myself. And I don't be around white people. I don't live around, I live around all in the all-black neighborhood uh, with some Hispanics too, but if they know any better, they know they, they, they're African descendants as well. Um, so yeah, the people I'm around, I have to remove myself from their energy because that negative energy is real, son. And the sad part is it has to exist. Like people think... Oh, the world is going to be a better place. But you know why that makes no sense? Because you don't get electricity without positive and negative energy. Like there is no light without positive and negative energy. There is no human without the male and female species. You need positive. You have pos a six positive, six, six neutrons, electrons, and protons. Like every, everything exists for a reason. It's no way that life can exist without a neg without the negative form. Because we're made of energy. So in order for us to even get light, you need both. You don't just have, if you know anything about um, wiring, electrical, you don't just have a, a white wire, which is the positive wire. You need the white wire and the black wire. And now the green to ground it. So I do real estate. So when, oh, so I, I didn't even go into that. So I also do the entrepreneurial life <laughs> because in 2001, I made the decision that I would never work for anyone. Actually, I made the decision at 10 years old, but I did get one real job that I was at for only three years. Like I worked at one job for three years. Everywhere else, I would like go there for a week and then be like, nah, and then leave. And so, I don't know, I'm saying everywhere else, really, it was only like two other two other spots, like when I was young. And, um, yeah, so in 2001, I was like, I'm going to do real estate because I purchased my first house in 99 and I saw how easy it was. So I said, okay, I'm about to get into real estate. So I quit the job that I was at. Oh my goodness, y'all. This looks so cute. I quit where I was at. <laughs> I just go from one thing to another. And um, got into real estate. And so while I was learning real estate, let me bring it here. Let me bring it here. So while I was learning real estate, I started working at Home Depot and I went into the electrical department. So that's all I know about that. I said all of that to tell you <laughs> why I know about the hot, cold, and the grounding in the different gauges of electricity. So, yeah. So, the point is, you, you, they have to both exist. Like, you see, they have the God and they have the devil. Like, they have to co coexist, unfortunately. So, the thing is, what do you, how do you want to live your life? You know what I'm saying? What do you want more in your life? Do you want more positive energy? Do you want more negative energy? It depends on 
how you're living. So I choose love, light, positivity, peace. I want to be peaceful. I want to be happy. And I want anyone around me to have that same energy. And to receive that same energy. And in order for you to receive it, you have to give it. So I'm looking to see if I want to add um, somewhere else. Because this is just so cute. I'm so glad I came up with this idea. Let's see if we put... Just so Let's see some red ones. I'm going to see if this will look cute somewhere. Get her here. OMG. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. And because this is like boring, that's why I'm talking and just giving you my story. Because imagine if you were just watching me do this. You would be like, Oh, I think I dropped one. It's not good to drop things when you have a puppy. She's not even a puppy anymore. I still call her my baby. <laughs> yeah, you see my baby. You see my baby. She she hit a um garbage man outside, so she say hi. Say hi, people. <laughs> she like this girl. It's a nutcase. So yeah. So that's what my line is. All that I wish to be and wish to receive. Positivity, love, happiness, be peaceful to others. So in my meditation, I did learn to be more patient and to not react to everything. Because I used to react to everything. Like if we was having a debate... <laughs> it was on and popping. I'd be like, uh-uh, we're going to go toe-to-toe -to because you got to show and prove to me. So I was in the 5% nation, so you can't just tell me anything. I'm like, nah, you got to prove that. I'm still like that, actually, but I'll just let somebody have it. Like, okay, instead of debating because especially I read a lot. So I'm very learned. And... People will debate me about stuff they never even bothered to research. So when, once I realized that they didn't research it, they're just talking off of opinion, then I decide, okay, I'm going to just let it alone. Like, okay, yeah, you're right. And I wouldn't do that back in the day. Back in the day, we going down, we going down. <laughs> so, yeah. So I learned a lot and I learned patience. But what I did not learn is um, how to stay controlled. Because literally, I thought I had it under control and then my brother called me. This was like two, three weeks ago. My brother called me and he off the chain too. So he went from Good morning to, are you fucking with me? Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. Are you effing with me? And as soon as he did that, it was, it was over. <laughs> I just started cursing him out. Like, and, and then I wasn't, and then I hung up on him. And so then he called me back. He apologized, but he was like, you, my sister was right there. And she was like, you have no space. Like, it's like soon as it happened. I'm like, I know. And that's, that's, that's the part I don't like about myself. So, I need to work more on that. Do a little more meditating. At, oh, this has some stuff on it. I wanted to use this one because I like the material and I wanted to lay this down. Let me show you what I have so far before I lay it down. Let's see if you can see that. Look at the earrings. And then I put like some red. Can you see those red? Yeah. Some red ones in there. I think that looks cute. Now hopefully it stays exactly as it is. This this earring is just a little crooked. Um Yeah, so that's what I need to work on. More buffer. I need a I need a buffer. <laughs> I need room to keep the monster dormant. That monster is serious. And, and I'm a Taurus. 
So I don't know if you peeped that when I said my birthday was in April. So that's not making it any better. We know the Taurus is with that bull, and it's crazy how I feel like this is missing. It's crazy how that is just so real. Like I traveled through the Milky Way during the age of a of, I was about to say Aquarius. During the age of Taurus. And it just put this monster inside of me. So the monster is there. We just need to learn how to keep it dormant. Right? That's that negative energy. So that negative side is in there. But I choose to keep it dormant. That's that's what I'm choosing. Doing it, though. As soon as somebody say something. Because it stays dormant throughout my life. Like, I, I'm always smiling. Everyone says, do you ever? I don't get depressed. I don't get angry. I don't get anxiety. I, I don't get any of those things. But... As soon as somebody disrespect me, this trigger, they do that light switch. Okay, so I have this on 365 in 30 seconds. Plus, I needed to cure some of the paint anyway because I never did it. I never cured the paint. I should have put more paper, actually. Damn it, because the piece on. You know what? No, I don't want to. Now I don't want to move it because I don't want to mess up. Oh, I hope that paint don't get on my arm. I'm sorry, I got to it. See, the piece up here is not covered. I know, I know, I know, but I ain't ready yet. Okay. Okay. All right, so I actually did it for 15, so now I'm going to just do it for another 15. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's pretty much my life in a nutshell. Being a Taurus, I have to meditate more on, staying more calm. Not Because you know what the sad part about that is? That means other people have control over me. And the reason I never work for someone else is because I need to be in control of my own destiny. So isn't that the same thing? So it would be hypocritical to react when someone says something that I don't like or if I feel like they're disrespecting me. Is it set? Did it move in me? I gotta make sure it didn't move. Oh, I that's falling. It's not letting me. Oh, looky, looky, y'all. Look at that, it's set. Got her earrings. So yeah, actually I could have just took it off the thing, right? Um. I only have a 15 by 15. I need a bigger um, heat press. So I didn't get the sides. Like the love needs to be cured. Oh, wait a minute. Can I? You know what? Let's see. Let me set this off. Heat press. Um, yeah. So. That is my life, y'all. Decided to share today while I do this. Normally, I'll just play some music or something. I say, you know what? Let me tell. What divine blessings of power is about? Divine blessings of power is about growth and elevation, keeping your spirits high, living on a higher vibration, being in tune with the universe. That's what divine blessings. I'm like, I'm looking at y'all. That's what divine blessings are power look like. Now, how am I gonna get <laughs> this going? Uh, with the sleeves in the way. Let me see. Oh, maybe if I. Maybe if I do this. I just want to feel like I picked the ink. I mean, the paint. 
and not um yeah so life is cr I don't need my glasses on life is um life is crazy and it's what you make it so I choose to make it happy and on my own terms and so that's what this is about that's what starting your own line because i still do real estate but real estate is so so up and down so up and down maybe one day i'll, I'll tell you well no because it's not just the station the station this channel is <laughs> not about real estate but um yeah maybe i'll share some stuff so fickle real estate is very fickle only problem with this now i have ironed marks right there but it's about the ink right now that i'll just fix that um yeah real estate is very fickle so plus i wanted to rock my own gear so really that's what started it because um when the real estate boom crashed in 06 i actually started doing online marketing so that's what I'm saying. Like, I knew about the t-shirt game when it first started. And I just wouldn't let me pull a trigger. I do that all the time. All the time. But everything. Except real estate. Because when I quit that job, I was like, oh, I got to go full force. So there was no, I didn't, I didn't do any procrastinating with that. Like, that I knew I wanted to do wholeheartedly. And so, I just went, pew out the door and did very 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 well and then the market crashed so yeah that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> okay. i'm always letting this beep 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 all right so she is done y'all look at dear Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, I've got to put this up on my site because this is for sale. This is not my size. I don't know why I picked the wrong size. Like, I'm supposed to do my own jacket first so that I can rock it and people could be like, oh, where you get that from? But no, I picked an extra large. So, yeah. I actually have a print. Um... I guess since we talking, might as well. Might as well. So I get my shirts from Jiffy shirts. I order my shirts from Jiffy shirts. And um, I kind of order them. Like I have like the basics because everyone gets, you know, I'm so stupid. So, on my site, I have that I have black shirts and navy blue, but I actually have royal blue as well, and I never posted that I have royal blue. All right, so I just have to update my site and put that on there. And I have white, of course. White, white is up there. But when I don't have what they want, then I just order it because Jiffy, they kind of deliver really, really quickly. I don't know who you use for your um, shirts. So, I had got a sweatshirt order. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have any regular sweatshirts. I only have hoodies. Um, so I ordered these because I have an order for one of these. And the problem is I printed the, he gave me the, um, he gave me his image, sent that to me and said, I'm going to bring you the sweatshirt that I want to use. So I print it and with sublimation ink i believe you're supposed to print you're supposed to um put it you know cure it onto the article pretty quickly and it's been sitting there and i'm not wasting my paper because oh well, actually i could just maybe i'll just charge them extra for the that's what i'm doing because i don't want to print on this sweater and then <laughs> it don't look right let me be talking about i got this from divine blessing yeah so i'm gonna just I'm gonna just print again. And the printer ain't even on. So, um, okay, so I thought I was gonna take you through this journey, but the printer's not on, and now I have to make sure the, the, the image is right, blah, blah, blah. 
but you did come through my with me with my story and I appreciate it and um, if you want that jacket it's gonna be like 120 because I gotta charge like a buck for art because it's serious it took me a long time to draw it um, plus paint brushes I gotta find some paint brushes that's good for jean jacket because like it takes a lot you know because it's not it's not like paper. As soon as you put it down, you see all the ink and then you just have to go over it again. With that, you have to keep brushing to get the ink into the garment, the fabric. So yeah. So thank you for watching. I wish you much peace and blessings. And if you enjoy this journey with me or the videos that I provide, please click the like button and subscribe so you can get notified when I'm going on next. Um, normally I do it every Monday, but yesterday I didn't have, I wasn't able to do it. So I had to post today, Tuesday. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I wish you much peace and blessings, much, much, much peace and blessings. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Peace.